dear students, my name is Monebi Lawrence Olubenga. I am your English language teacher. Our topics for discussion are regular and irregular verbs. Happy listening. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to distinguish between regular and irregular verbs and give their past and participle forms. Verb. The word verb is derived from the Latin word verbum. It is a word used to describe an action, state, or occurrence. The verb, apart from forming the main part of the predicate of a sentence, cannot be done without a sentence construction. It is a central and indispensable element of the sentence structure. For instance, one, James killed a goat. Two, did he travel home last week? Three, Ungazi ate a plate of rice. When you remove the underlying words, the verbs, in these sentences, you are likely going to have one, James a goat. Two, Titi home last week. Three, Ungazi a plate of rice. What meaning can you make of any of these sentences? Do you think the speaker has communicated anything? Your answer is as good as mine. The speaker has not said anything. This is because of the absence of verb in each of these sentences. My dear students, you can now see that the verb is very important in conveying our intentions to the listeners. Let us list some examples of verbs. Go, come, speak, solve, jump, sing, fly, ascend, descend, cook, clap, sleep, shout, draw, bite, etc. I'm expecting at least 20 verbs from every one of you. Regular verbs. These are verbs that take the suffix ed to form past or participle. A large number of the English verbs fall into this category. For example, present, past, participle. Under the participle, you have has, have, had, want, wanted, has wanted, determine, determined, has, have, or had determined, resolve, resolved, has, have, had, resolved, beg, begged, has, have, had, begged, equip, equipped, has, have, had, equipped, joy, joined, has, have, had, joined, carry, carried, has, have, had, carried, hang, hanged, has, have, had, hanged, play, played, has, have, had, played, Thank, tent, has, have, had, tent. Cook, cooked, has, have, had, cooked. Kill, killed, has, have, had, killed. List 30 regular verbs and state their past and participle forms. At this juncture, Let's go for a short break. When we come back, we'll continue the class. Thank you. Welcome back. Irregular verbs. These are verbs that do not take the suffix ed to form past or participle. Rather, they take different forms. 
the forms they take do not follow a particular pattern. Examples of irregular verbs are present, past participle, sing, sang, has, have, had, sung, think, thought, has, have, had, thought, sleep, slept, has, have, had, slept, ate, ate, has, have, had, eaten, take, took, has, have, had, taken, speak, spoke, has, have, had, spoken, hung, hung, has, have, had, hung, swim, swam, has, have, had, swam, drink, drunk, has, have, had, drunk, weep, wept, has, have, had, wept, run, run, has, have, had, run, come, came, has, have, had, come, shoot, shot, has, have, had, shot, bring, brought, has, have, had, brought, draw, drew, has, have, had, drawn, lay, laid, has, have, had, lain, throw, true, has, have, had, thrown. My dear students, I want you to make a list of 30 irregular verbs, given their past and participle forms. Zero verbs. This class of verbs neither take the suffix ed nor change forms to form past or participle. They remain the same as present, past, or participle. Examples of these zero verbs are the present past participle, spread, spread, has, have, had, spread, shut, shut, has, have, had, shut, cut, cut, has, have, had, cut, cast, cast, has, have, had, cast, shit, shit, has, have, had, shit, sleet, sleet, has, have, had, sleet, broadcast, broadcast, has, have, had, broadcast, hurt, hurt, has, have, had, hurt. On this note, we are going to pause for the final break, and when we return, we will conclude this class. Thank you. Welcome back to the final segment of this class. Final consonants. There are some regular verbs that end with single consonant. This single consonant is doubled when it is preceded by single vowel or it is followed by a suffix beginning with a vowel. There are some verbs that end with single consonant but have it doubled when they form past, participle, or continuous tense. Examples, beg, begged, begging, drop, dropped, dropping, equip, equipped, equipping, commit, committed, committing, slap, slapped, slapping, clap, clapped, clapping, lag, lagged, 
lagging, stem, stemmed, stemming, etc. My dear students, I want you to share with your friends what you have learned in this class. Then, answer the following questions. Choose the correct option from letter A to D. 1. The man dash himself. A. Hung. B. Hanged. C. Hung. D. Hangs. 2. Our school laboratories are fully dashed by the Lagos State Government. A. Equip. B. Equipped. C. Equipped. D. Equipping. 3. I have just dashed my vote for my favorite candidates. A. Cast. B. Casted. C. Casting. B. Been casting. Thank you.